And now after Belarus will be in Russia for about three weeks. And this is our first morning run. Uh, we started at 9 a.m. this morning. Things are a little different here in Russia. This shows that I was the king of uh, Moscow. Yeah. We've been on a lot of um, major roads with heavy duty traffic, especially truck traffic. It's got to be the, the toughest one I've done so far. That, that was really quite scary, in fact. They, the trucks, they're, they're absolutely mad drivers and there's, there's hardly anywhere to run and you, you've, you've just got to have your wits about you the whole time, eh? They're coming at you like a bullet at a gate and then <laughs> by that much and, oh, well, this is where they said it was going to start getting tough and let me tell you, it, it has! This is the dreaded um, 3am till 9am shift. This is my least favorite shift by far. It's rough. Three hill is hard because there's not a lot of cheering going on. There's a lot of sleeping going on. So when you're not running, you're in the van, either sleeping or drinking burn. I think it's uh, 12 midnight. My alarm went off at 11.10 p.m. and uh, as I was leaving the hotel I saw a bunch of people coming into the hotel for cocktails. <laughs> I started thinking my life was sort of weird. So when you run at night, you, we always have to remember a few more items in the bag when we're getting ready and that we have to put on. We've got the safety vest here which is very uh, attractive accoutrement to the running outfit as well as the headlamp here. We've got a couple different settings. Um, which comes in very handy when the cops are not following close behind. Uh, and then I've got my little uh, music pouch here for the, for the iPod to go in. Especially at night, it's very useful to have a bit of music to uh, keep you going when it uh, gets dark. I've never seen so many bugs in my life. There, we, I mean, we weren't even really in low ground. Even when we came up, there were bugs. And all I know is I came in and I guess my ear's bleeding. Something must have really bit me that I didn't even feel. And I felt like I was in a black cloud the whole entire time. And I was wearing like sport deet and everything. I mean, nothing bit me, but it didn't keep them away. They were in my eyes. I had to run with my mouth, like with my teeth like this and breathe through my teeth because I didn't want to swallow any bugs. Um, I tried to use the baton to bat them away and that actually like provided an amazing like bit of respite for at least like two seconds, which mentally really helped just to think they were gone for a little bit. But man, I felt like I was being attacked out there. There's a deer fly. The bugs all yeah, over. Yeah, deer yeah. flies. You can, you know, just swat them away. Ooh, yeah, you just have to keep, you got to fan yourself, man. I'm telling you, where you run, Ooh, I yeah, I need to they find will. The you can get, all you can do is, I don't think it's going to do any good. You know, even in the van, I could see like big uh, oh, no, but flies. All you I can mean, do, there are like 10 of they're them. They're deer flies. Right sticking onto the glass. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. They're deer flies. All you can do is swat with the baton. Just keep swatting them because not ah. they'll get all over you and they sting after a little bit. <laughs> Oh, box. They're right over my face here. Oh man, I just pulled one more from my, from my eyelid. My eyelashes here. And at first we thought they were wasps because they were really big and they were buzzing around. We got a little panic. Then we realized they were just big deer fly and they were, it was madness. Most of the time we spend in a vehicle other than talking is killing mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, here somewhere in Russia, uh, definitely one of the hard parts of the run is all the sitting. It's just hours and hours in the van sometimes. Oh, <laughs> like I'm in a blender. Yeah. <laughs> Or is it like a